How to become a physiotherapist in France? Is there any licensing exam? Yes, there is a license exam that you need to pass in order to become a licensed physiotherapist in France. This exam is administered by CNOMK, which is regulatory body for physiotherapy in France. The exam consists of both written and practical components. The written exam evaluates your theoretical knowledge in various areas related to physiotherapy such as anatomy, physiology, pathology and therapeutic techniques. The practical exam assesses your practical skills in performing physiotherapy techniques and treatments. Successfully passing both components of the exam is essential to obtain professional registration and a license to practice as a physiotherapist in France. To become a physiotherapist, you will need to follow these steps. Pursue higher education. Physiotherapy is taught at the university level in France. You will need to enroll in a university program offering a bachelor's degree in physiotherapy or a related field. It is important to choose a program recognized by French Ministry of Health. Complete the bachelor's degree. Typically, the physiotherapy program in France lasts for three years. The curriculum will cover subjects such as anatomy, physiology, biomechanics, pathology, and therapeutic techniques. Ensure you successfully complete all the required courses and practical placements. Prepare the required documents. Gather the necessary documents for your license application, which may include photocopies of your high school diploma or equivalent, photocopies of your university transcripts and degree certificate, proof of completion of any additional training or specialization courses, proof of insurance coverage for professional liability, any other documents required by CNOMK. Obtain a professional registration. Following the completion of your bachelor's degree, you will need to obtain a professional registration. This requires passing a national examination administered by CNOMK. OMK, which is the regulatory body for physiotherapy in France. Submit your application. Visit the website of the CNOMK or contact them directly to obtain the application form and detailed instructions. Fill out the application form accurately and include all the required documents. Pay the application fee. There will be an application fee that you need to pay typically through a bank transfer or online payment method. The exact amount can vary, so check the CNOMK's website or contact them to get the current free information. Receive your license. If you successfully pass both components of the license exam, you will receive your physiotherapy license from the CNOMK. The license allows you to legally practice in France. Obtain a professional liability insurance. To practice physiotherapy in France, it is mandatory to have professional liability insurance coverage. This insurance protects you and your patients in case of any unforeseen incidents. Consider specialization. After getting registered, you may choose to specialize in certain areas of physiotherapy. There are various postgraduate courses and diplomas available to help you specialize in fields such as sports physiotherapy, pediatrics, neurology, etc. These courses are not compulsory but can enhance your skills and professional prospects. Language skills. If the country you are planning to work in has a language different from your native language, it is essential to develop strong language skills, obtain a fluency in the local language as it will be crucial for studying, practicing and communicating effectively with patients. Continuous professional development. As a physiotherapist, it is important to keep updating your knowledge and skills, practicing in various workshops, conferences, and training programs to stay up to date with the latest developments and techniques in the field. 
Remember that this is journal guide and the specific requirements may vary slightly depending on the university program and professional regulations at the time. It is always advisable to check with the relevant educational institutions and regulatory bodies for accurate and up-to-date information. So this is all for today. Thank you for watching this video.